Hello, my name is Alexis Lasser and I'm a PhD student at the Laboratoire Interdisciplinaire Carnot de Bourgogne, part of the Université de Bourgogne in Dijon. Hello, my name is Ludmila Jalak and I'm a PhD student at Humane. Humane is a company specialized in embedded artificial intelligence and a partner on this project. In this work, we studied the influence of the carrier gas on the response of a microwave sensor. The target gas is ammonia, while the two chosen carrier gases are argon and air. The experiments were conducted in a frequency range from 1 to 8 gigahertz, and ammonia concentration went from 10 to 400 ppm. The experimental setup is composed of an hermetic glass cell placed in an anechoic chamber, several mass flow controllers to manage the gas flows, and a vector network analyzer which performs the measurements. Every 10 seconds, S parameters are retrieved from the VNA. To process the sensor's response, we use a Python script. The program is given a frame of the desired resonance frequency. From this frame, it will find the frequency of resonance and save it into a CSV file with its corresponding magnitude in phase. The two first results are obtained at 5.97 GHz for ammonia concentration going from 100 to 400 ppm. Figure on the left shows the magnitude as a function of time. Ammonia concentration is also indicated on the secondary y-axis. On the same principle, figure on the right shows the phase as a function of time. In both cases, the sensor response is very similar regardless of the carrier gas. The variations are almost identical. This indicates the negligible influence of the carrier gas on the microwave response under these conditions. The gas sensor was also tested for small ammonia concentrations. The figure shows the magnitude as function of time at 6.86 GHz. Once again, the microwave response is very similar for both carrier gases under such conditions. A kinetic study was carried out on experiment with air as carrier gas. Using initial velocity method, we have demonstrated that the order of reaction of the ammonia adsorption is 1 at low concentration under 200 ppm. However, it's not the case at higher concentrations. We also observed that the desorption time is two times longer than the adsorption time, which indicates chemisorption phenomena. To conclude, the main result of this work is the absence of carrier gas influence on the microwave response under all conditions. The development of an onboard version of the sensor that would be adaptable for IoT and 5G is in progress. The use of artificial intelligence and a mass spectrometer is planned to obtain better performance.